I'm Hope from Beauty Thanks, Systems. I'm gonna go over an RFD modification to an Alta X. Um, here are the components you're gonna get in your kit. Um, we have a five volt voltage regulator, 50 in, five volts out. Um, we have the RFD uh, with your power wire. That's gonna come from your regulator. And then an S bus for radio control. And then your two SMA extensions. Uh, we also drilled a little hole in the case here. Um, this is gonna have an indicator light showing through when the drone's powered. Um, it's a green light and when it's blinking, you know that you have power. And then when it's solid, you know that you have a bind to your TX mod. Um, these are two replacement panels you're gonna get um, to install on the side of the drone. So you can fit these SMA extensions through and then mount your antennas. Cool. All right. Next, we're gonna show it, what it looks like when it's installed inside the drone. Yes. All right, we're just wrapping up the installation for your RFD and castle on an Alta X. Um, here we have a telemetry cable provided by Alta. Um, you're gonna find it dangling right under your GPS in the front of the drone. Um, it's probably the hardest thing to plug in, so I would do that first. Um, once that's plugged in, you can fish your castle in and that gets stuck in the front um, right corner of the drone. Um, both of these will have VHB on um, the bottom for you to stick them down. Um, the castle then has its five volt power whip that comes, wraps around the front of the drone toward the GPS and toward your RFD. Um, and then your RFD five volt cable kind of wraps around toward that. Um, and then there's plenty of extra cable for you to pull it up, plug it in. Um, so that's your power for your RFD. And then for the castle, it's getting 50 volts from this little XD30 here. Um, that's pretty easy to fish through. I recommend plugging everything in before sticking it down. Um, so then you have your S bus cable, which comes around to the back of the drone um, to this little access hatch. I have it open here. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's closed, you take that off. Um, and then you have your different S bus cables. We provided you with a servo whip. So you're just plugging in your servo connector here. Um, and then you can just push the rest of the wires in there and close that back up. Um, another little trick here is, um, so your SMA connectors, you kind of saw it in the first part. This one actually uh, is in the back left of the drone. Um, this is how you're gonna uh, push the RFD through. So you'll just take off the panel that comes on the drone. Um, you'll put your RFD in, and then you can replace it with one of these SMA um, panels. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier. Um, you wanna run the SMA cable between these two power wires. Um, so just make sure you do that. And then this is actually upside down. Uh, oh, and I should show you on the back of this, it has a little indent for your hex nut and then it's just like an uh, eight mil hex you secure that on there and then we'll provide you with the 900 megahertz antennas um and i think that just about covers everything <laughs>